Whoa, didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to him. You talk to him. <laughs>
We'll manage the resource squeeze somehow. Your compassion is admirable, but... Guess we're all tightening our belts. You can run a stasis override command from operations. I hope the rest will be that easy. Okay, sending the override command. The stasis pods should start unlocking. You're really doing this? I was at the protest in hydroponics. I thought we'd just get more excuses. But we already lost a year waiting for our families. I'm glad it's time. Things will be lean for a while, with the new mouths to feed. But you're out there. We'll manage somehow. My mom was scared something would go wrong and she'd be awake in stasis all that time. She isn't... It doesn't work like that, but I just want her out, so I know. Override complete. Stasis revival triggered on the Nexus. The Jasper K, Griffith G, Hilkvist A, Demerchi P, Kozlov S. There. That's her. Why are you still here? Go be the face your mom wakes up to. I will. Thank you. I'm sorry, Lana. Pathfinder, maybe you can clear this up. No. How can I help? My friend Jory was on EOS the first go-round, barely survived. Now they want him to go back. They're saying the conditions are improved, that, that it's safe now, is it? No. You can believe the reports. EOS is becoming a livable and sustainable space. Going back to reclaim it will help heal your scars. See, Jory? It's going to be okay. Thank you, Pathfinder. Uh, I'll do that. Hi. The documentary's going great. Your comments really got people talking. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything okay? Mm. Oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. Oh. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed EOS thoroughly, and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. How do you relax between missions? What about you? I can't imagine you putting your camera down for anything. I'm not the one history cares about. I need a minute to think about my answer. And I'd like to know. Back home, I'd go sailing. I love the water. Nowadays, I play ocean sounds, close my eyes, and remember. Okay, your turn. My crew and I take downtime together. We're a team. This is history, too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks for stopping. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. What do you want? Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me? Everyone, I'm just... so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. I haven't heard much good about that guy. Whatever you've heard, it's not half as bad as the reality. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. Maybe there's something I can do? A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. <laughs> we need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Dell told me you saw her arguing with Spender. Kajak's doing his best to throttle my department. How's he getting away with that? 
Spender doesn't know the first thing about engineering, but he knows how to play people. More importantly, he still talks to the Exiles. I'm sure of it. I just can't prove it without your help. Without proof, this will be hard to deal with. Tell me about it. My grandfather tried to tell Tan. He wouldn't believe him without proof. If he's really this bad, how does he keep his job? Welcome to the Nexus. Look, I can work with everyday incompetence. But Spender's a traitor and a danger to the station. He needs to be dealt with. This needs to be investigated. I'm glad someone thinks so. Talk to Canvos. He likely has security footage, some kind of evidence. But you'll have to convince him to authorize release. Well, those families are out of stasis. I know, because we're cutting rations for Apex. My decision's made, Kandros. And now everyone thinks protesting is how we get stuff done. <laughs> there you go, dude. Excuse okay. me. No news on the Turian Arc yet. Or is this militia business? I was told I should talk to you about the mutiny. I wasn't on the Nexus when it happened. I started reading up on it, but... You know how things get around here. Do you know where Spender was during that time? Why Spender? Wait, you think he might have had something to do with the mutiny? Maybe. Just trying to sort things out. You know, the logs I did look through showed a few discrepancies. I meant to dig deeper. If you're investigating, how about I give you access to the security vid archives? Thank you. Anything else? Bye, Kandros. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Secure message from intelligence. Requesting armor cam footage. Apex personnel, please check. Huh, this file won't play. Sam, can you boost the quality? Processing. Playback initiated. Don't expand. <laughs> Wait, is he handing something quality. over to one of the mutineers? Take this. It'll help you the armory. Don't I am sorry, Pathfinder. This backup file is corrupted. The audio tracks are heavily degraded. Someone may have deleted the original, and this version was restored during a system-wide reset. Sounds like a cover-up to me. I concur. While I cannot restore any more audio, the location appears to be Kadara. How do you figure? In common parlance, lip reading. <laughs> I do not recognize the location from any current data. It appears mountainous and populated. We will need to find the planet before I can confirm. I will contact you via my node. Yeah. The me writer, is it? William Spender. Apologies if we met before. I meet a lot of people running colonial affairs. Running colonial affairs? I thought you were the assistant director. That's right. Assistant to Addison. So we know who does all the real work. From what I've heard, your hands are pretty dirty. I saw the footage. You were handing something off? What footage? From Gavorkum? Routine business meeting. Whoever you're talking to clearly has an axe to grind. And frankly, a Pathfinder shouldn't be wasting time on a witch hunt. You'd be wise to let this be. Find to help me with something? I know, not exactly standard. Gotta make the space comfortable. Plus, the fabric diffuses the charge from an overclocked Omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? Never mind. BS for the requisition. So, finally time for that beer? And after two years, <laughs> <of> <laughs> one has over Mugana. Took a lateral promotion out of the force. Being a cops didn't fit. The crisis response, digging people out of trouble, that worked. I bet Hassel followed you into a few peace actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Yeah. Earth's contribution to a multi-species disaster response unit. Hust one, but. Hustle looks much better on the patch. 
All civilians, retired vets, or shits like me. I was fiercely bearded. Tastes better just thinking about those days. I wanted adventure and mystery at the edge of known space. There was so much to see. Seems like a long time ago. 600 years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? That blunt. I hoped my lion's career would lead to adventure. Exploring, hunting dangers in the dark. Didn't happen. Couldn't. But here? Everything's new. And I want to see it all. Ah, oh, I don't hear idealist a lot. Everyone's cynical. Back at you, Costa. Why'd you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. I have to. We're in it. We can't go back. But we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. I'm working with a vetra to track down prosthetic gel and those other items we discussed. You're too good to me, Doc. Nothing for me. Playing favorites, Lexi? What? No. <laughs> I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but that vault certainly was a first. Things are gonna be interesting with you around, kid. Doesn't matter what life throws at me. It's what I make of it, right? You keep that going, you just might live as long as I have. Minus zero at the end. Now that we've been digging, it's clear you were right about Spender. Guy like that'll do anything to get ahead. Just wonder how far he went. We can talk more later. Sure. Joo, sitten kalaksi odottaa. Those remnant vaults, all those secrets. I have to go explore in one someday. Imagine flying through one. Now that would be a real hazard course. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? <laughs> well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I take you work closely with the Nexus science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Hmm. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Hello, Gil. When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained, and it's working great. Don't be so uptight. Everything okay? No. Oh, fine. Fine. Don't worry about it.
collision course with unknown objects. Make correction. Sam, are you on this? Collision is imminent. All stop now. Uh oh. Ships, a dozen. No, more. They've got us pinned against the scorch. They are scanning us, Pathfinder. Well, scan them back. Where is the one who activated the remnant? Their DNA signature is there. Answer me. You're the one in my way. Who are you? They've lost navigation. We're being steered into their ship. Just tell me what you want. I won't explain what you can't understand. Ryder, I have almost regained control of the ship. I need a few more seconds. I actually know a lot about the Remnant. We should compare notes. Enough. Your defiance is naive and reckless. This day marks the beginning of your greatness. Sam? I have plotted a potential course through the Scourge. Do it! Report. Enemy destroyed. Damage to aft sensors. Scourge got it? Yes. Get us out of here. It will be tight. Hello? Yes! Nice work, kid. Yeah. But who the hell was that guy? Ryder, we've got trouble down here. You need to find a support now. Great. Where'd we end up anyway? Sensors are damaged, but I think we're at the vault's coordinates. You think? <sighs> Gil, give it what you can. We're setting down. We're being contacted. Yeah. We have to land. <sighs> Open a com. Tove Jagalesto. Tove Jagalesto. We're visitors from another galaxy. Our intentions are peaceful. Av Nalesetto. They've sent us a nap point. Set us down. Yeah. Yes. Ha, look at that. It's beautiful. We need in that vault. Please, you're not really going out there on your own. We can't afford a repeat of last time. I'm the Pathfinder. First contact is on me. If this goes badly, if I get eaten alive, even if it's hilarious, please destroy the vids. Huh. Need me to take my shoes off? I am the ghost. Mason Roa.
isokorvia. I'm Paran Shai, governor of Aya. We are the Angara. Hello. I'm a Pathfinder with the Initiative. Yes. You crossed Dark Space. I've heard of your journey. Joel. I have this in hand. Ephra saw this ship come in and sent me to find out what's going on. He's a human from another galaxy. A Pathfinder. Mm. Aya is hidden. Protected. What do you want? I apologize. Landing here the way we did, without warning, on fire, was not the plan. That's good to know. Because if it was, that would be a very bad plan. I'll inform Ephra. He'll be waiting for you in his office at the Resistance headquarters. I'll meet you there. I will accompany you through our city. Your crew will stay on your ship. Follow me. Vastarintaliike. Follow closely. Do not try to explore the city or interact with anyone. Ephra's guards will use force if necessary. Understood. Is it okay to ask you questions? I suppose. If you're the governor, why do I need to see this Ephra? He's leader of the resistance. What's that? They fight the Ket and protect us. I detect unusual levels of electrostatic energy in the Angara. This is insane. It belongs in a containment cell. The Governor Shire handled this. You don't know what you're doing. Am I that intimidating? You're an outsider who invaded our home. We know nothing about you. I'm not here to cause trouble. Then keep moving. None of the local flora register in my data files. We've encountered an undiscovered ecosystem. Your city is beautiful. Thank you. You're the first outsider to see it. I'm honored. What happens if Afro doesn't like me? He won't. But you need to earn his trust. He's responsible for everyone's safety. I know what that's like. You're a leader. Trying to be. This is the Resistance headquarters. Ephra is waiting inside. They are bullies, but this situation is now your fault. Don't get kicked out, Moran, not because of them. But you're telling me to be weak? No. I am telling you to be strong, through your cunning and heart. Okay? Hey. It really is the best one in the Resistance. I know. Our experience with the Ket makes us naturally distrustful of all aliens. We've had our own run-ins with the Ket. Then you really do understand. When the Archon came to Helios, he demolished our sovereign state. Took what he wanted, as if we were nothing. Now, the Ket mercilessly abduct Angara. Often, we never see our people again. Uh -huh. Come this way. Ephra is waiting. Wait, the cat kidnap you? Steal your people? And the Resistance fights them every day. With everything we can. Is it attrition? What are they after? You should save your questions for Ephra. Kadara be damned. I won't lose Vold. Ephra, this is one of the aliens from the Milky Way. A Pathfinder. 
Pathfinder. It's an aggressive move coming to Aya. My people from the Milky Way were bold enough to come to Andromeda. I need to be at least that bold to save them. Hmm. So bad to find you. Never mind how you even found us. Why are you here? On a hostile planet we call Eos, I explored an ancient structure, a vault, and brought it back online. It stabilized that planet's environment. Remnant, recent intelligence supports that claim. If I'm right, there's a vault on Aya that's different. I need to look inside. You're right. There's a vault out there, but it was shut years ago and the entrance hidden. We can't help you. The Moshai could. She's our most revered scientist and elder. She knows this vault. But now the Ket have her, and our rescue attempts failed. She's lost to us, and you. There must be another way. How can I convince you? Can I offer help? Arrogant. I don't know you, let alone trust you. Why would I want your help? Of course. <laughs> Ephra. I feel... Ephra, what this alien says is extraordinary. The Moshai would want us to be brave and not let this chance pass. Joel, you talk too much. Let me assess this alien. I'll be your eyes. I know you can spare me. Go if you want, but when he tries to kill you, be prepared to strike first. I'm Jal Amadarav. I'll be your envoy through Angaran space. It's gonna be cozy, so I hope you like people. Uh-huh. <laughs> uusi, uusi kaveri saatiin. I've organized my analysis of Aya. Shall I relay it to the Nexus? Definitely. Be careful out there. No, I will. You really think the Moshe is alive? I'm sure of it. Don't kill yourself bringing her home. No promises. Rider, ships fixed up and ready to fly. Ei, 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 We have nothing like it. Where do you see the inside? <laughs> it gets better. Oh yeah. You ready to go? I'll introduce you to the rest of my crew. Aika helposti ne pääsi, päästi niin kuin lähtemään kuitenkin. Vaikka salainen puolainen. Että... I'm just saying mikään. as far as first contact goes, at least that went better than the last one. Only slightly. Yeah, what happened? I wanted to look around. And now we have another mouth to feed, whatever he eats. Did the translators not work? They work. Come on, everyone. Can we just all please try to just listen up? Begging. Interesting strategy. <laughs> Ryder, we followed our best lead here, and now we don't even have that. Jal has offered to do what he can to help us access the vault on Aya. How do we do that when we're leaving the planet it's on? That's a fair point. Jal? Seriously? <laughs> Settle down. Ryder's right. There's an Angara right here. Let's hear from the new guy. One day, about 80 years ago, 
The Archon and the Ket arrived in Helios, and the horror began. They declared war? Nothing so easy to define or fight. The Ket kidnap Angara. Their people disappear without a trace. What if they were us? Sure, I'll fight Ket all day long, but that's no plan. I agree. We need to get into that vault rider. Surprisingly, I'm with PB. Our own mission has to take priority. We have a plan. Kind of. Pretty solid. Jal? The resistance is stretched thin. I was tasked with traveling to two of our worlds at our briefing this morning. And you'll accompany me. Because? Because then Ephra will see you as trustworthy. <laughs> you want that. Jaws told me about these two worlds, Havarl and Vol. Before the Scourge disaster, Vold was a thriving planet of billions, a shining center of technology and life. And now? It's the center of our ground war against the Ket. Our resistance base is fighting Ket command for control of the planet. What about the other? Aval is the birthplace of the Angara. It's started to degrade, to become wild and dangerous. We suspect Remnant. Now we're talking. We've recently lost contact with our scientists. Still don't get how any of this helps us. I do. Help us, or rather help me, and I'll vouch for you, right? Because Jal wants inside Aya's vault, too. Pathfinder, it's your call. Okay. Yes. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Maybe more like optimism. Confidence? You'll get there. <laughs> Jal, give Kalo the nav points for both planets. Let's do this. Still compiling my first impressions, but even their body language is so emotional. I can't wait for my first session with Jarl. Try not to scare him away, huh? So, Jal. So? We haven't had a chance to talk alone. You comfortable in here? I took it. It feels strange to stay with the others. They are, you are, aliens. And you're alien to us. So there, we have something in common. <laughs> uh, we can look at it as a place to start. <laughs> Got it. Well, yes. Yeah, Perhaps then, if we're all... Aliens. It's about what kind of alien we are. You had no idea about us, but you signed up to help us anyway. Perhaps it had nothing to do with you. Care to elaborate? I do not. How do you know Moshe Sefa? She's our greatest mind on the Remnant. I was her student. You studied the Remnant too? <laughs> A little. I was terrible. I quit. Or she threw me out. One of those. We're still very close. So, is that your rifle? It is now. It's Ket. With my own modifications. I like to tinker, to get my hands on something and... Take it apart. That's a skill I know we can use. But I have one request. Please don't take apart my ship. <laughs> You're right. I signed up. Uh, volunteered for this. It's uh, exciting. There's something unique about you. 
uneasy, raw, but somehow profound. Face value, that sounds like a compliment. A nice one. <laughs> it is. Angara feel deeply. We have <laughs> more trouble hiding our emotions than showing them. I should get back to my work. When we have downtime, I'd love to watch your work. Sure. I could show everyone. Um, no. Uh, just us. So we can get to know each other better? Or just share a hobby? Oh. Hm. Of course. Good. <laughs> Good. Diversity and the waterfalls, just like Sir Cash. Kuta, mun pisteitä iha hyvin. En ota. No, pystykö tämä tuun käyttämään kuitenkin? Tämä on aika kova valinta itse asiassa. Engine rooms aft, med bay starboard. Smart stuff up front, powers and back. <laughs> yeah, um. That Archon. Arrogant son of a bitch. Maybe that's redundant for a cat. It's damned lucky there was a path through the scourge right there. Yeah, we can't count on ever being that lucky again. So, what else is new? See you later, Cora. I'll be here. first contact with them, didn't you? If I recall, my exact words were, they're bold for being so squishy, do they know they're mostly water? <laughs> Harsh. Don't let Ryder hear you. <laughs> Ryder. <laughs> you probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me.
tollanne ja sitten lähdetään tehtävälle. Eli avattiin kaksi uutta planeettaa. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Mineraaleja siitä. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Satellite detected. You have some Kettian satellite. No, has some like such satellite. I could have a look at it. Painovoima-anomalia tää vitsaus.
anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Kaks nää neljä prosenttia heliumia. Mä oon sentään ymmärtänyt, että niinku tässä pelissä on niin komeita niin näkökulmia, että... Ui, täytyy aina välillä piilottaa. Näitä ei tässä pelissä liikaa kyllä on näitä tutkittavia tähtijärjestelmiä, mikä on vähän sääli. Forget how small we are. Tässä mustaan aukko. Tää on kyllä aika lä huomattavasti lähempänä. Tää on yllättävän lähellä emotähteitä ja kaasuplaneetta. Ja nyt se syntyy nimittäin huomattavasti kauempana.
might be true again. Anomaly detected. Planeetat on hajonnut tommoseks osiks, niin helppo, helppo kaivaa. Täällä on kettien luus. Sitten vaan pelastusoperaatio. Tää siis, no. Siksi täytyy puhua vastarintaliikkeen johtajalla. Varmaan joudutaan pelastamaan sen. Mursi. Tämä on ilmeisesti ollut koko klusterin laajuinen sivilisaatio ennen kuin ketit, ketit on tullut. No niin, täällä löytyy jotain kivaa. 
Deploying probe. I found something. Tiedettä. Okay, bundle up, people. I'll stay on my nice warm ship. Hmm. <laughs> Tässä on vähän päivitetty rynnäkökivääri. varustusta muuttamaan. Take her down, Callow. We designated this planet Habitat 6. Original no. readings suggest that it had a breathable nitrogen-rich atmosphere and oceans of H2O. So, behind the acid, I made it. I take it that's no longer the case. All H2O on Habitat 6 folds to the Angarai is ice. And those oceans frozen over completely. There goes the dream of a seaside property. That's a pretty intense blizzard. LZ is on the windward side of the mountain. Conditions are bad. I'm tracking gale force squalls. Push. Very funny, Ryder. Yeah. Right 
Charge away. Good place for a secret hideout. The snow and ice camouflages everything. Step carefully. Ice and darkness. Deadly combination. I'm going to bet that on the side of setup. A functional base on an ice mountain. We're a strong people who are only momentarily burdened. Peter, right ahead. I need a minute to defrost. We're almost there. We'll need to talk to Commander Anyik when we arrive. The ambient temperature is normal. Temperatures are below freezing and continuing to fall. Tämmönen tähtien sota niin kuin jedin, äh, jedin palu tyyppinen. Niinku imperiumin vastaisku tyyppinen niin kuin jää tukikot. Hi there, Explorer. I hear you have a very impressive vehicle, yes? We call it the Nomad. I'm an amateur mechanic myself. Build vehicles for my people. Upload this schematic for your mechanic, with my compliments. They can upgrade your vehicle shielding once you find the needed components. He lives for this shit. It will make his day. My long lost brother. <laughs> you can find some of what you need here on Vault. The rest, out and about. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Life support restored. Kaikki ei ole vihamielisiä muukalaisille. To see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. This is the alien. The one you think can help us. Yes. This is Ryder, of the Andromeda Initiative. I am Anyik Dozil. Remember the name, because if you betray us, I will kill you myself. Be assured that what I do to you will okay, make the stars okay, turn their faces and grow dark. Totally understood. Everyone wants the stars to keep shining, right? We're in agreement then. If you wish to prove yourself, be an ally in our fight against the Ket. Despite our best efforts, their growing forces remain a threat to our people. Speak to our lookouts who watch the valley. They'll know where our need is dire. Jarl, watch them, and be careful yourself, my friend. <clears throat> I always am. Okay. I'll find her. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? <laughs> The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption, so I'll let you figure out the rest. <laughs> Yo. Ja. 
murtaudu mun tietokoneeseen. Decryption successful, Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply. But a near rabbit here. Landed right in the middle of Aya. No. I hope they dealt with it. <laughs> that human is a Pathfinder fighting for us. Have some respect. Uh, yeah. Jarl. And the Pathfinder. Don't worry. They dealt with me. <laughs> Some kind of stimulant. I have Kajari and Suma. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Shouldn't you be talking to the commander? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. The commander said the alien wanted to help, but we need it. The emergency caches, maybe. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reach it. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Good. Get going. Give me a double dose of summer, quick. A double? Just do it. Uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through and I need to see to them. Is it just you here? Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle Vold. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. Huh. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living no, in a no place no like no this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. Yeah. <laughs> this is my friend, Macy. She helps supply the resistance. That must be difficult out here. Jarl's the brave one. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. How do you get supplies with the cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden paths all over Vold. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more and spare something for you. Good luck and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Whoa! Didn't mean to sneak up on you. Your commander said you could show us the valley. Zeke, I don't want to talk to it. You talk to it. <laughs> Ryder has a name. 
You named it. How do you even tell them apart? <laughs> <laughs> Just stop talking. Yeah, we can show you the valley. What are you looking for? I'm here to help your people. Know anyone who needs it? We've got reports from Hajara about someone trying to rescue a kidnapped family. See those red lights? That's it. If you're here to help, like the commander says, you could start there. Anything else? Those red lights. You said that's Hajara? Yes. Hajara Station. One of the Dar in the valley. It's a small community, mostly scientists. There's people there that might need help if you haven't checked it out already. Is it difficult to live out here? Why so surprised? We've adapted to this weather. Those lights are conspicuous. Don't the cat attack? We've adapted to that too. Mm -hmm. The cat wants to take us alive, so we fight to the death. It seems to deter them. What's that alien facility on that mountain over there? That's the Ket Command Center. We have constant eyes on it. What's its purpose? It controls Ket operations on the entire planet. There's always ships coming and going. I came face to face with the Prefect there. Meanest, motherless Visan I ever saw. Even the Ket seemed afraid. We don't have much intel on her, though. Do you know of any remnant sites or ruins? Uh, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Seek, do you ever read the dailies? No, you'll tell me if I need to know something. Mm -hmm. So where is it? Tall lights, over on your right somewhere. I'll let you get back to your work. Yeah, you behave, we're watching you. Tempest, we're gonna need the Nomad. My position. Deploying forward station. Good luck, Ryder. Automated Nine. protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Okay, Sam, what's Vold got for us? Cat activity appears to be centered around this large central command post. According to Resistance Intelligence, the base coordinates all Cat military efforts on Vold. And taking it down will cripple their operations. In theory. However, given the trouble the Angara Resistance has had infiltrating the base, it will not be a simple task. I recommend a more cautious approach that starts with the investigation of smaller Ket installations. Any suggestions on how to get on Ephra's good side? Resistance dispatches indicate there is someone in Hojara who needs help. We could visit Tekix, a larger and more established Angara Dar that is nearby. Sounds good. Thanks, Sam. Pathfinder, Vault's temperature range is fixed well below freezing, with pockets of even more severe conditions. This necessitates the use of the Nomad. I advise against prolonged exposure to the cold. Got it. Don't crash the car. Our scans have detected remnant monoliths, which suggests the presence of a vault. Okay, the vault begun. And that means we might be able to melt this ice cube. All right, we've got our work cut out for us. Let's get going. Meillä on töitä. No niin, tässä on hyvin edennyt tääkin peli. Tosiaan vähän. Ihan pikkasen harhailua, mutta juoni on sentään edennyt. Tosiaan, niin ruvetaan kesku... lopettamaan tämä peli tähän näin ja jatketaan huomenna vaikka. Tsernobylaittia öö, voisin pelata. Ensi viikosta en tiedä, mutta varmaan jatketaan näitä samoja pelejä. Mutta nyt niin kuin, ei muuta kuin hyvää illan jatkoa ja nauttikaa. Vielä kesästä niin, niin kauan kuin on lämmintä. <laughs>